welcome back to my channel. I'm um, here today to show you something. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm a messy crafter. So when I like to do ink blending or anything in that regard where you just make a mess, I always take out a, um, a sheet of watercolor paper. This is from, um, where's this from? I think it was from Hobby Lobby. Anyway, this is a 9 by 12. Um, is it 9 by 12? Yeah, 9 by 12. And what I do is I use these to uh, do ink blending. Yeah, you can put them on a silicone mat. You, there's a lot of things you can do. But um, I like doing it this way because when I do that, I end up creating something else. So what I would do afterwards is take this and I would cut it into four uh, panels. And let me show you, I only have three panels uh, because the fourth one, I think I used them for uh, sentiments. And I will show you that as well. But um, the fun thing about doing something like this is that you, you're creating art while you're working on something else. So, and not every piece is salvageable or not any, every piece I'm gonna use, but um, I sometimes I'll just add something to it. So I'm gonna show you that as well. So let me show you two of the panels and these are panels that have been altered. Uh, in other words, for example, this one. Uh, I've already stamped this. I've uh, I've done um, basically this is what it looked like before I did anything to it, and then I just threw some splatter on there and I um, stamped it with this um, these notes, these musical notes. Now I think if I did this again, I probably would have done it uh, on a second uh, generation stamping to make it lighter. I don't like how dark it is, but I may just smooth that out with. Um, with something else but for now I think I'm gonna leave it the way it is so that's what this is here and the next one I have is this one as well I did stamp it um, after um, it's really cut apart I just went ahead and started stamping it and I have these stamps they're by Tonic Studios uh, I've had this for a long time so I don't even know if it's still available but it's called um, Patterns and, sorry, this camp was, a, I think, a freebie or something. It's called Patterns and um, Prints. It does have, a, uh, I didn't use the uh, dies on this. And I just go ahead and start stamping. So this you find, this is a coffee ring. Then you've got this writing here and then I had stamped it with this so you know you you have all these elements do all these patterns so that's what I was doing with this and that's what I put on here so now I already have my panel so these are the two panels and then let me show you the um all right so Let me show you some of the sentiments I had cut out using uh, some of this paper. So you can see like this one, um, I just went ahead and added some color to it. But here's one. So this one was cut out with one of those sheets. And some of these were cut out with different types of, uh, not exactly this, but other things. But that's what I do. I, I try to use them as much as I can so I can have all my sentiments. And that's how I ended up making this card, which I'm going to show you right now. So I had made this card. I used one of the sentiments that I had cut out from one of these papers. So in other words, I took one panel and started cutting out sentiments. I also did some uh, birthday. I done also just happy birth, did two happy birthdays. 
and I got all my sentiments cut out. So I've been making a bunch of cards. So these are just hello cards. They're just, just because cards type of thing. You always need one of these on hand, right? So I thought this was pretty. And then I had used a pattern, I mean that uh, stamp set called Patterns. And as for the inking, I was using um, Distress Ink, the Salvage Patina. I thought these colors were very complimentary with the pink. So um, I just want to show you the possibilities. If you're you're a messy crafter like I am, um, and I know that goes without saying, right? You would be able to make uh, cards like this, and they look real pretty. I mean, there's nothing really to them. I just put a panel on there and that's it. Oh, there's nothing else to it. And these I'm gonna make in the cards as well. Once I work on this one, I think is ready. Uh, just needs a sentiment, but this one, I think I'm gonna work on a little bit because uh, like I said, I found this a little bit too dark for my taste. And if I was gonna do this, now when I had done these, by the way, I had uh, inadvertently used the, uh, the the rough side of the paper. You know, watercolor has a rough side and a smooth side, so I use the rough side. So that's why you have all this texture in here. But this one, I decided to use the smooth side. And I'll show you what I mean. This is smooth, and then this has got those little ridges. You should be able to see some of it. And then when I'm finished with this, um, doing my ink blending and stuff and I've been busy doing ink blending and I'm going to show another video when I did some other items or other panels that uh, I want to share with you once I'm done with this then I'll go ahead and cut them into four and then again they'll be either card or they could be used for sentiments or whatever you want to use them for I mean you can cut out anything with them and you really have your paper and if you don't have um too many supplies or you don't have uh, any pattern paper, you can make your own pattern paper and you really can't go wrong. And you just need some stamps. Um, you can use, if you don't have anything like this, um, you can go to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree sells a lot of these uh, vintage type things and you can use that. So there's always uh, an option, uh, especially when, you know, when you don't have enough money to be spending on crafts and so forth. Okay, so that's it. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, I hope this helped you. I don't know if it did or not, but it gave you some ideas. And um, that's it. Hope you all have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye now.